Hi, I'm Bailey Colley, and today I'm going to be giving an introduction to trauma. In a study published in 2015, it was found that 60% of school-aged students have experienced trauma. In 2019, it was discovered that students with four or more ACEs or childhood adverse experiences are 50 times more likely to have academic or behavioral issues. Trauma is the perceived experience of an individual that causes feelings of fear, terror, and helplessness. Basically, it is a result of a whole bunch of stress that impacts one's ability to cope and express emotions. Events themselves are not traumatic. It is how the event is perceived by the person which causes the physiological changes within them. Trauma is the reaction to an event and the toll it takes on the body and brain. Trauma negatively changes the brain. It lives in the nervous system and reorganizes the brain and how it functions and perceives the world. Think about it. Experiences build brains and the brain adapts to its environment. We need to have a perspective of the world these kids are living in. Students who are living with or have experienced trauma often come to school in a dysregulated brain state and are unable to access their prefrontal cortex. This state of dysregulation drives their behaviors and neurobiologically blocks their ability to learn. When the stress hormones cortisol and adrenaline are consistently pumping into the brain, it damages the areas in charge of cognition, learning, and regulation. We need to start seeing these challenging behaviors as a result of disrupted brain development. What can look like defiant behavior is actually the limbic system starting to shut down and the student is regressing into a stress response. Trauma is not just a mental health problem. It is an educational problem. There is a strong correlation between histories of trauma and academic and social problems. We must bring trauma-informed practices to our schools. We need to build resiliency and put protective factors in place. This is Bailey Colley. Thanks for watching.